Okay, so here we have a matchup that they think they have, they think they got this locked down, because they're like, man, that is a Necrozma, and I am a man on a horse. The giant bulb on my head. However, however, what if we were to, oh, I don't know, lead off with this? Huh? Yeah, you know? The only uh, bad scenario would be if he actually leads off with his Galarian Zapdos, so I'm actually going to do something a little bit safer and lead off like this. Do that. Okay. Which Pokemon team uh, you use in your match today? I'm using the Necrozma Dust main team in my match. All right. Let's see what we can do. Such an awkward camera. Okay. So yeah, I can go into Incineroar pretty safely here. Obviously, they have, like, the double fake out on deck. They quite clearly have the double fake out on deck. Um, and I can't really avoid that. Most Mian Xiao are not running <laughs> me with my 10 to 5 PP moves. Um... Most Mian Xiao are not running in... Let me protect here. Protect. Yeah, most of them are not running Poison Jab, so I should be safe. Fine. Let's see if I catch the second fake out. One would assume that's your best play. It's a bit of a crit. Fine. Um, I should just to I, I should be able to straight up get like all of my health back on this Mian Xiao. and I'm honestly not opposed to just brave birding that. Uh, I mean, mm, he could he could switch out. He doesn't really have any safe switch ins to this move. Yeah, brave bird feels really safe here unless he brought like Nihiligo, but you would almost never bring that to a dust main matchup. Uh, I could also brave bird into the Mian Xiao and secure the KO if he's Sash. But I think I'd rather just Brave Bird into, into the real boot because the chances of them actually having Protect are really low. There's the withdrawal, what am I hitting? I'd honestly love to hit that Calyrex right now. Oh my God, Calyrex, Calyrex. No, 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 this Calyrex is not appreciating this. He's about to learn today, he's about to learn. Go ahead. Go ahead and protect. I have nothing against that. Like, look. He's about to learn. He's about to learn today. Look. All of that health. All of that. Every every last bit of it. Every last bit of that delicious health. Mine. Just all mine. Uh, that's also a guaranteed two shot. So, is he, What? This dude's running leftovers. He's about to sub on me. No. No, I refuse to believe that this man is running leftovers and he's not running sub. I'm about to snarl. I'm about to snarl him so freaking hard. Uh, Zapdos has no reason to stay in here. Like, obviously, like, you know, I'm just going to go into Incinera because it's safe. I refuse to believe he's not about to click substitute. You do not do anything but substitute here. Okay. He didn't sub, right? I really hope he did sub. That'd be funny. Astro Barrage, that's fine. I'm taking, like, nothing from that. I'm taking, like, nothing. Look at that. Pathetic. Anyways. Bye bye Uh, there's no reason to snarl again. I really don't think he's gonna sub now. <laughs> I actually really don't think he's gonna sub. I should be able to Flare Blitz Horn Leech pretty safely. Actually, no, I can uh, Flare Blitz Snarl, and that's just as safe because it actually catches the uh, Mian Xiao in case I, like, get a really powerful um, Flare Blitz crit or some BS like that. Alternatively, I could call the U-Turn. Actually, if you're running Fake Out, Grassy Glide, and Protect, one would assume you don't have U-Turn. Or have, like, Knock Off or something. I, I mean, I suppose I could, I could just Horn Leech here, and I'd be fine. Yeah, I'll just Flare Blitz now. I really have nothing to lose. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You have U-turn. High horsepower. That's fine. No, give me your, give me your guy. 
Give me your guy. I, I'm fine losing this thing. Alright, I'm about to make a power play. He has no idea how powerful of a play this is about to be. So what he should do here is go right into his boy, the uh, the Mian Xiao, and try to fake out and Astro Barrage me. Little does he know, I am guaranteed to live that Astro Barrage. So I'm just going to trick room. I'm just going to trick room. Like, I'm not getting KO'd with my Bulu anytime soon. I'm just going to trick room on him. Because he should, he should fake out my, uh, my Bulu here. Actually goes into the Zapdos. That's fine. That's fine. I still get my Trick Room off like every time. Um, and considering that, I would rather get rid of my Zapdos here and just Trick Room up. Because I should be able to like Snarl Photon Geyser and get rid of the Zapdos. Next turn at the very least. Real interesting. He has two Fighting Types. He, like, really doesn't like Incineroar. Throat Chop. Oh, did he just double me? I mean, I think I still live at minus one, but I'm really surprised. Can I please live at minus one? I'd be really happy. I might have just gotten Nainate on. Oh, yeah. No, that was easy. That was easy. Critical hit on Zapdos. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. So one would assume the Zapdos is not Focus Sash, considering there is a Mian Xiao on the other side of the field. Um, so my play here is going to be to double into the Zapdos anyway and hope it isn't. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> like, actually, I think that's my play. Because I don't think... You gotta protect that thing, right? You have to protect the Calyrex at this point. Okay, good. Now, if, it, if it's not Sash, that'd be ideal. Okay, good. So the Sash is on the Mian Xiao, and I think I just win now. The Chronosma looks weird like it's from another anime. Loki, yeah, I see it. I think I think it could be from another anime. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that thing's at minus one now. I'm about to get faked out. My play is going to be to protect... Yan Xiao's faster than my my boy here. Um, I can't let him get a KO because that actually could spiral out of control for me. My play is going to be to detect here and go into my Bulu. Yan Xiao's base 105 speed, so under Trick Room I should be slower. Or I should be faster under Trick Room, I mean. And then I just click Snarl plus Brave Bird. That should be fine. Unless he goes for like Faint into my... Zapdos, which I don't know if you'd do that. I think he would always faint into the Necrozma, hoping I protect. Or just to cover the protect play. But Snarl on the Brave Bird should always KO this uh, Mian Xiao. Please don't faint, please. Alright, just a fake out. I actually could have stayed in there. This really shouldn't do that much. Yeah, no, at minus one, pathetic, yeah. I think I have two more turns of Trick Room. I'm so surprised I'm facing Leftovers Calyrex right now. Like, I'm calced to live Life Orb, but still. Two turns of Trick Room, please? Yeah, all right. So he needs a double. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and Brave Bird and Snarl to cover all of his options. Hey, that's a win. That's a W. Nice. Facing off against Leah with a standard-ish uh, Zacian team. And Sableye, what's up? Congratulations on being the VGC Iron Man. And thanks for the raid, dude. So, what we have here is a classic case of they think they're going to one-shot my Necrozma. They will not. Um, typically versus these sort of teams, I actually really like... Kingdra and Cinnaror, Hollytoad in the back, and uh, Necrozma is my last mod. 
Typically, that's been very good for me. Just because Kingdra, like, can annihilate so many different Pokemon in this comp. Annihilates Incineroar, annihilates Regieleki as soon as the Sash is broken. Hurricane does chunks to Tapu, not Tapu Bulu, to Rillaboom, even though it's Assault Vest, and um, Landorus is just one of the most problematic Pokemon for me, so getting rid of that's going to be important. It is going to be important. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the luck. All right, let's go full screen. As they have made a grave error. They have made a very, very poor decision on lead. Uh, and here's why. Here's why. I can always just straight up protect here. Uh, one would assume they would go for the fake out. And I don't need to stay in with my Incineroar, so I don't have to worry about that speed, that possible speed tie. I'm just going to protect, and I'm going to go right into Politoed. Not going to worry about, you know, being faster than him. Special Defensive Politoed with the Citrus Berry will always take an Earth Power, barring, like, modest max special attack crit. Like, that's pretty much the only situation I could see it possibly going down. And even then, I think it'll be fine. Am I still doing team reviews for channel points? I, I am going to, but I'm going to hold off on that until I'm back on my main setup, because it's kind of a mess to navigate... Um, the laptop in the in the stream right now. Alright, please fake out my child. Oh yeah, no, it's gamer time. Oh. Oh, it's gamer time. It is What are his options? Realistically speaking, what are his options? Give me. Give me. Like honest like that's all I can say. Give me. Something's he's giving me something. Incineroar doesn't run Protect. I'm faster than your Landorus, and it's not living. You have to hope I miss. Give me something. <laughs> Someone's lighting off fireworks outside, or at least I hope so. I'm not in a terrible part of the neighborhood, but... Oh, yeah. He has he has chosen to risk it. And uh, he has been rewarded. Why? Why? Like, like... Like, for real, why did that just happen? Did that- I- you're kidding me, right? Really? I miss both of them? That was a double KO! That was a double KO- dude! I'm so disappointed right now, like, my- my- my words cannot stress how disappointed I am right now. What was that? Um, okay, there's still a shot, like, here. I'm gonna parting shot. He should protect, but it's still somewhat worth it. I'm gonna double. Okay, alright. I mean, if I can get the trick room off, it's not the end of the world. I don't mind losing my, my boy here. Yeah, I figured. I figured that was what was gonna happen. Ah, oh, man. Like, like honestly, look at the look at the field. What would have happened had I landed that muddy water? I would have just straight up won. Like, I'd have my whole team at like main, mainly at like full health, right? I would have taken some like life orb damage. But beyond that, like nothing really terrible would have happened. Um, I can still try to parting shot. It's in my best interest to hold on to this thing. Go into Krosma. Uh, I'm in pain, dude. The fact that his last Mon is probably Zacian, and he has, like, Rillaboom, like, that would have just been a win. Okay. That's fine. Can I please live? I'm not living, by the way. I'm definitely not. Oh, thank you, Incineroar. Goaded. Goaded Pokemon. Absolutely based. Yo? I'm still on the internet, I think. Can, can that please be him? Did he just parting shot? Did he just get parting shotted out of the match? Oh, it was a mutual disconnect. Because I'm still on the internet. That's going to be one of those mutual disconnects. Let's see. 
Why are you lighting fireworks outside right now? It is a freaking Saturday. It's September like 3rd, dude. There was no update. All right, so I didn't go down. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but dude, that was so disappointing. Like, he, like I, had I connected, he would have disconnected earlier, you know? He would have disconnected sooner had I connected that move. All right. <sighs> that was certainly something. That was certainly something. Incineroar verbally abuses the trainer out of a match. Okay, thank you for the follow. Uh, Hexman. Having to be twice getting a Zamazenta sweep? That sucks, dude. Gaming, dude. Yeah, Jones. I was gaming so hard, I missed. I missed a double Muddy Water against... It was a double helping-handed Muddy Water in the rain versus Lando and Incineroar. That's how hard I was gaming just now. Okay, this is my favorite matchup of all time, because if I lose, I'm just that bad at the game. But if I win, it was it was because it's free. Um, so this is pretty much what I bring every time. So here's the thing. Uh, a lot of Xerneas teams bring both Incineroar and Volcarona to deal with Steel types like Necrozma Dustmain. However, by leading off with... <laughs> By leading off with Zapdos, neither of those are good ideas. Just neither of them work. See that Japanese team with uh, Power Anklet Zapdos G? I did not. That sounds like a, a standard. <laughs> that sounds like a standard. Oh my god, what are they doing, team, though? It's always like Power Anklet that's on like the crazy teams, or Iron Ball, or something to make you slower. Oh! It's the matchup I wanted! So we're gonna play a little game called, Which One of These Pokemon Do You Care More About? It's my favorite game. Honestly, it really is. Um, I could just Sunsteel Strike immediately. Loki, I could. But I benefit much more from the Trick Room play. Raybird. Ah, yes. If they Geomancy here, they just didn't think. They just, like, didn't think about it. And it's gone. Can I not get burned? That'd be great. Ah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Doesn't make too big of a difference, but it is kind of annoying. Yeah, they just geomancied. They just, they just geomancied for some reason. Why are they lighting off? Like, it's two feet from my house, too. Like, they're just lighting off fireworks. Like, it's right outside my window. Club, how you doing? It is straight up, I would not be surprised if a firework flew through my window. It's straight up right outside. Hold on. Yeah, no, it's in my parking lot. Yeah, no, there are just dudes lighting up fireworks in my parking lot. That's not obnoxious. Writing a paper, getting some boosted Moxie content. Okay, so update. They didn't bring Incineroar. I'm gonna throw that out there for you. They didn't. Because had they brought Incineroar, this would have been winnable. Um, I can do this. I'm actually... Mm, I'm about to get faked out anyways. I don't really need the Zapdos to win. I'll go into my Incineroar. Actually, I'll go into Bulu because I can snarl and make it eat. Nah, the fake out's probably better. All right. So I will go out into my Incineroar here. Nah, Bulu takes it better. We'll just do that. 
And I'll sack my Zapdos. I'll try to Brave Bird, but I doubt I'll get it. Actually, no, I will. Because that Xerneas is at double speed. And they should always fake out Necrozma. Yeah, and Boo eats this. Dazzling Gleam. Boom Blast, okay. Yeah, Bulu still eats. Um, I should be able to Snarl next turn. Ew, okay. I was really expecting a Dazzling Gleam. I suppose I could Taunt, and I really don't lose much. Taunting makes it so they can't protect. That's probably the best way to use my turn, honestly. I'm gonna Snarl Taunt. Yeah, it was still a lot. Looks like the fireworks stopped, or it sounds like. They should Dazzling Gleam now. See, because I'm not really concerned about Moonblast. I'm concerned about Moonblast into Knockoff. I get the Snarl off, so that's... I think I just win now. Honestly, that Snarl's all I needed. And they didn't Grassy Glide either, so I get the Taunt, too. I'd be really surprised if there's an Incineroar in the back, considering that they could have gone into it a while ago. And even if there is an Incineroar in the back, like, low-key, I think I'm fine still. Yeah, it's Reggie Lucky. No, I'm good. Taunt, go ahead and Dazzling Gleamy, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to start clicking Snarl on Sunsteel Strike. Awesome. So that gives me the board positioning I need. By clicking Snarl Sunsteel Strike, I'm kind of like always going to win now. The Xerneas either switches out and then I get the Rillaboom. Or Xerneas stays in, and I get, like, the Xerneas, which is arguably better. Yeah, uh, they can't protect, so Snarl. Hopefully I don't miss the Regieleki, because that could be deadly if they're running, like, Electro Ball. And Sunsteel Strike. Yep, as they should be giving me the Xerneas here, depending on how bulky it is. We finally get that thumbnail. Hmm. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's exactly what this team is for. This team is for the satisfaction of one-shotting Xerneas. Please don't be the rare Electro Ball Regieleki. Please don't be the endangered retro <laughs> Electro Ball Regieleki. Alright, yeah. No para. I feel like I get paired by Regieleki more than any other Thunderbolt. Like, it straight up feels like Regieleki has like a 90% chance to paralyze sometimes. I, I would say like 30. Which that might actually be the number. I'm pretty sure it's 10, but it could be... Uh, I feel like it's like 30 with Regieleki. Okay. And yeah, I always click Snarl here, like every time. And uh, Photon Geyser for the other possible thumbnail. Ooh! <laughs> I think they just forfeit here. I guess they could play for crits. Ah, okay. Snarl. Don't miss the Aleki. Awesome. Yeah, I could have also Flare Blitzed. I can confirm I paralyzed you in a showdown tour with Reggie Aleki once. It's probably because Regieleki is so fast, the odds of it getting T-Bolt off are more... Yeah, on, it gets more T-Bolts off, therefore it feels like it gets more paralysis in general. Um, let me just Flare Blitz you, and I want to get the alternative thumbnail for this video. Photon Geyser. My favorite move in the game, by the way. My favorite move in all of Pokemon is Photon Geyser. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what did you gain... I think I still KO. 
Uh, so the unfortunate truth about this is that my optimal play is not Photon Geyser. Actually, I still KO. I still KO. Because, like, Incineroar outspeeds my... <laughs> Incineroar should outspeed my, um, my Necrozma here. I'm going to Snarl. I, I should Flare Blitz, but I'm going to Snarl just so I can get Photon Geyser off. They might just forfeit too, but I still want to, you know. It's, it's, it's for the thumbnail, guys. For the thumbnail. Snarl, Photon Geyser, come on. I need this. I need this. Okay, no crit. Awesome, cool. Thumbnail. Thumbnail material right there. I mean, obviously, I think that Sunsteel Strike's probably a better thumbnail, but Photon Geyser's cool, too. It's a geyser of photons. What if he crits into miss and then crits your incent? Oh, God. I mean, he, I can't miss my move, but yeah. Uh, or into, like, Snarl miss, but yeah. He did not just do that. He did not just do the glitch. That's the glitch, right? That's the lose no points glitch, right? They didn't patch that, right? They straight up just did the glitch on me. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, thank you, Loveless VGC. I appreciate you. I feel loved. He just did the glitch on me. I better gain points. I better be gaining... I haven't gained points in the last two games because of disconnects. They got good taste. They got good taste, dude. Look at their team. I want to be this person's friend. Me and this person, we're homies now. He is a certified homie. Anyways, uh, I would have to be stupid not to lead off Zapdos, in my opinion. And Cinder is obviously very good. Uh, Bulu is kind of up in the air. It's obviously very bad, but I like it too much. Go with this. Ah, it's Nora. Okay. Welcome back, Nora. Nora, if you see any of those hate bots, insta ban. Man. Not banned, but many DCs can get you banned from Wycon. I think that's how it is. Misty Seed Necro. It could be Misty Seed Necrozma. I mean, I'm I'm mental herb Necrozma. I'm I'm the based Necrozma set. And most of the time I'd actually be pretty concerned about Will O Wisp coming out from Mimikyu, but not so much on this team. <coughs> not so much because the um because of the Epu Finny. Honestly, I'm just I'm just dumb and I didn't notice the sword that said you were a mod. The baby. It's the baby. Give me one reason not to photon geyser that stupid little mushroom. Give me one. Like on God, give me one. Or alternatively. Nah, I should photon geyser. I was gonna say I might swords dance. <laughs> I've been nanaed. Okay, no, that's fine. 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 Check this out. Check this out. There's Sash because this is a Korean team. I think I can't tell what the characters are. But they're definitely Sash. So watch me Swords Dance. I'm going to taunt. They're going to Parting Shot me. I'm going to get back up to neutral. Yeah. You're definitely Sash if you're doing that. Parting Shot me so I can face no repercussions for the Intimidate. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine with me. I'm back up to neutral, baby. It's time to close combat. 
You are most certainly Sash, though. I have to say that. There is a 0% chance that's not Sash Amoongus. Photon Geyser. At plus one, in fact. It's not even at neutral. It's at plus one. This thing's gone if it's not Sash. It better be Sash, though. I don't know why you'd stay in if you weren't. Could Psychic Fangs do a little better? Nah, the power on this moves a bit, a bit more. We should one shot. And Sin's Japanese. Okay, cool. This is going to do like six. Okay, that did a respectable amount. And they can't intimidate me again. So. You know. You know. <laughs> All right, there's the boy again. Um, I'm Sash, so I'm just going to taunt you, and I'm going to Swords Dance. You might disagree with this play, but if you do, shut up. I can recognize Korean characters, but I barely know anything. I feel like that's the Event Amoongus. Wasn't the Event Amoongus shiny? Or am I stupid? the event Amoongus was Korean. Hey, Blue Robin, thanks for the raid. Alright, so no Rage Powder or nothing. Probably Trick Room. Words Dance. Ooh, scary. Scary. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double into that thing now with a close combat and a Photon Geyser. And he shouldn't, he shouldn't take this. <laughs> This is too much damage. Um, if he does take it, we can confirm that this is the best Pokemon in the game. Uh, Sunsteel Strike does more because it's not resi it's not quad resisted, so this should be doing a chunk. This should be doing a chungus. Hello, Galarian Zapdos. Oh, I don't see a protect. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Please let me be faster, even though we're probably both zero speed. All right, I should still KO if I'm faster. All right, cool, 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 cool. Augers. Be gone. Be gone. Awesome. Dude, Gapdos Necrozma is so good. I feel like everyone sleeps on Gapdos Necrozma. This is the first mirror match. I honestly, I have seen Gapdos Necrozma, but I think I'm like, I think my video was like the first one using it. Um, I'm always going to Brave Bird the Zapdos because I'm Sash, so I should always win that exchange. And I'm always going to also Photon Geyser it. Or I should Photon Geyser you. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I finally get some points because this person didn't do the glitch on me.